Now we're off on a culinary adventure. We're gonna go visit one of the truly great restaurants in America, a place called Charlie Trotter's. We're gonna take you behind the scenes and show you how a truly great restaurant operates. Bon appétit. We have the rare privilege tonight to be dining at Charlie Trotter's in Chicago. You can see that we're sitting in the kitchen, and this is an arrangement that you can make also if you call ahead of time and make your reservations early at Charlie Trotter's. Whether you're sitting in the kitchen or in the dining room, it's an experience that you will remember probably for the rest of your life because this is just one of the best restaurants in Chicago and one of the best restaurants in America, and that's really saying a lot. It's a very exclusive restaurant. It, it just has 20 tables in the main dining room and the one table here in the kitchen, and this is a wild experience in the kitchen. The menu is a degustacion menu, which means that it's a fairly set menu. You do have choices at each course. There's six different courses, and you have a choice of two different varieties at each of the courses. And you can have a vegetarian menu, which is a wonderful menu, or the other menu, which will give you some venison, some rabbit. We've had lobster tonight and oysters, and just a great dining experience. Charlie Trotter's, it's just outside of downtown. You'll need to take a taxi to get here. It's about a 15 minute taxi ride and it is well worth it, but do call in advance to make reservations because they're usually booked about three days, four days in advance. So you might even want to call long distance if you're interested in coming to Charlie Trotters in Chicago. But I want it to be the situation where you can, if you just ordered off the menu, it would be a very healthy meal that you ate. But more importantly, it would be a delicious meal. It would satisfy your soul, it would satisfy your intellect, it would satisfy your, your sensual needs as much as just your physical needs. That would be secondary. That would happen sort of as a byproduct of what the main thing would be. Hungry? Want some soup? Come on over. Get a close-up of this soup that Siri made. Now I want you to see it. Oh, yeah, okay. They teach you how to make this when you go to the CIA. That's the Culinary Institute of America. You learn how to make stuff like this. Delicious. For this course, you have two goat's cheese salads. One warm goat's cheese, which is coated with a bit of hazelnut on top of Yukon gold potatoes, Napa cabbage, and apples, surrounded with a brown butter balsamic herb vinaigrette. And then yours is a goat's cheese salad topped with Belgian endive, watercress, and frise. Japanese apple pear, apricots, hazelnuts, and an herb balsamic plum vinaigrette. Mm. Another group of happy diners, as you can see. Look, they're on their own. Yeah, so, 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 so. <laughs> Mr. Asher, one of our distinguished clients. <laughs> Everything I, okay? I, I nice nearly sir? extinguished after the meal. Oh, come on. Right. That was absolutely superb, Charlie. Okay, now what you have is a root vegetable torte surrounded with a red wine celery essence, saffron essence, and herb oils. And this is Millbrook venison. It is a venison that's actually raised for us in upstate New York. It's fed a special diet of uh, wild mushrooms and dried fruits, besides just grazing. But it's a fallow deer, so it gives it a much less gamey flavor, a lot more fruit to the flavor itself. It's on top of truffled barley with sweet corn and wild mushrooms. And then surrounding it, you have a venison jus, topping it cranberries, and of course, a little white truffle oil. You're never going to see this again, That's how as long as you live. <laughs> this is like 75 bucks. The Bernadette. Okay. Stick your nose in here. It's pretty amazing. I know. <laughs> it's like the most gorgeous aroma of all. Uh, what we have is we have some braised black-eyed peas. Um, they're sort of buried underneath there, so they're like a little surprise. Um, Cooking a lot of bacon. Confit of tomato. A tomato confit. They're um, tomatoes that have been poached overnight in olive oil and herbs. What are you making now? We're making herb oil. Um, we're doing uh, oils and vinegars that we're going to give away on, uh, for New Year's Eve to some customers. Now, 
Now, what you have here is in parchment paper wild mushrooms, which have been roasted with baby white asparagus and quail egg and a little bit of truffle oil. So when you open up the parchment paper, you just get this rush of white truffle oil. And then here what you have is pigeon on top of fig with celery root surrounding it, rosemary infused pigeon juice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we're gonna, we're gonna steam them. And what have you got here? A red wine <laughs> celery sauce. Uh -huh. It's a reduction of port and red wine. I like everything. Everything. Everything, yeah. All right, well, this is the uh, liquid center chocolate cake. And uh, the three ice creams are banana chocolate chip, milk chocolate, and malt. Oh, looks good. Thank you. I'll take two minutes. You saw the liquid center chocolate cake. Well, this is one of our other chocolate dishes. The chocolate banana bread liquid center pudding with uh, coconut and macadamia and twill malt ice cream. And over here we have the uh, sauteed apples with the uh, burnt butter tart and uh, goat cheese ice cream. So uh, enjoy. Here we have the panna cotta. It's an eggless uh, Italian vanilla flavored flan. And it's accompanied by oven dried fruits and their respective purees. <laughs> Excellent. <-mont. laughs> Excellent. <-mont. laughs> okay, one more time. One, two, three. Excellent. <laughs> <-mont. laughs> we, we just want people to enjoy the foodstuffs. They just happen to be vegetables. You don't have to have meat or fish or anything else. That's what it's all about. No, we've been here for six and a half years. Wow. Ten years ago, being a vegetarian in America was, was probably a grim plight because you either had to go to various ethnic restaurants or the so-called health food restaurants, uh, and then that food usually is not really delicious. Um, or if you went to the better mainstream restaurants and you said, I want a vegetable dish, you'd get this uninspired plate of food generally. And today I think you could go to a lot of mainstream restaurants, and if they don't already have one or a couple of vegetable dishes, they're eager to accommodate you. And, and the quality of the foodstuffs are better, and they put a little bit more thought into it. You know, it just gets better all the time. I'm sure in Hawaii with people like Roy and Chef Roy, great to see you. Maybe you'll make it to Chicago sometime. Maybe the next time you're in Chicago, you'll actually look me up, like last time when you blew me off and didn't even come over to eat. <laughs> we'd love to see you. And David Paul, when, we, when you come to Chicago, we'd love to take care of you. And you can be sure that Charlie and his staff will take care of you too when you get to Chicago. I think you've seen enough to convince you that this is a very interesting and a very delicious restaurant, and you won't be sorry taking this advice.